So go back to Visual Studio Code. And step number one is to create new test. And let's give it some description. For example, clicking on elements. Again, don't forget to pass it to page object. And again, step number one is to load the website. So it's the same as in the previous example. So evade page dot go to. And let me copy paste the URL. So just grab the home page and paste it here. And step number two is to click on the element. And for that, Playwright gives us a function on page which is called click. And we need to pass it the argument as selector. So let's find out if we inspect this element. We can see that it's a button with ID of sign in button. So let's grab it. And if you are working with IDs, we use this sign and paste the value like this. So next step is to click on the another sign in, which is here. So let's inspect it as well. And as you can see, there is actually no uh, ID. There is only type, name, value, and class. And it's okay, we can use any of these, but I'm gonna show you how to click on element by text, which is a great feature of Playwright. So let's go back and let's do one more click. Evade page dot click. And in this case, if you want to click on something by text, you just type text equals and the value. In this case, it's sign space in, like this. So what's next? Next is to assert the error message. So if we actually click on the sign in and we will leave it blank, we get this nice red error message. So if you inspect it, you can see that it's a div with a class of alert and alert error. So we can use the value of alert error. And again, if you want to save some element into variable, we need to use page locator. So let's use const error message equals await page dot locator. It's same as in the simple basic test. And we're gonna pass it the element of class alert error. And if you are working with classes, you just need to use the dot sign. And now we want to call the assertion. So we can do await, expect, error message. And again, we can use to contain text. And let's get the value. And we can just copy paste the message. And save it. Well, and that's it. Our clicking test is finished. Basically, we will go to this website we click on the sign in button, then we submit the form by clicking on sign in again by using text. In the first example, we use ID. Then we store the value of error message by using page locator. And we are using class alert error. And then we expect the error message to contain the text, login and or password are wrong. So let's run the test to see that it's going on working correctly. We can use MPX Playwright test and hit enter. And as you can see, it's running two tests. So simple basic test passed and picking on element passed as well. So that's it. Just a quick recapitulation. If you want to click on something, you will use evade page.click and you will pass the selector as value. It's simple as that.